G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to be going through the top 5 AFL games that I've ever witnessed live. And because I've gone to a lot of non-Melbourne AFL games, I've tried to sort of chuck in a few that weren't Melbourne related. Alright, the fifth best game that I think I've ever been to was Richmond Port Adelaide in 2012. Heavy, heavy traffic to Cece. He knows how to kick a goal late. It's a draw at the moment. It was such an exciting game. Me and Austin Cookson went down and we sat in the Port Cheer Squad. But we were really on the Tigers bandwagon that day. And there were some very interesting characters in the Port Cheer Squad. So we were sort of low-key Tigers fans for the day. Sort of uh, keeping it under wraps. But it was so exciting. It was um, the game Jack Rewalt kicked the goal that gave him the Coleman. It was the only game for the year that was a draw. And then after the game, me and Austin went down into the rooms. And um, yeah, we uh, yeah, got to meet a lot of the players and because it was the last game and they didn't have to warm down or anything, they just let everyone walk around. So we were just roaming around with all the families, getting pictures with all the boys. The fourth best game I've ever been to, probably from an emotional point of view, was Melbourne Hawthorne 2016. That was actually unbelievable. Hawthorne have won the past 13 against Melbourne. They're going to have to pull something massive from the fire tonight. Um, you know, Hawks had had a nine game winning streak at the top of their game. The D's were up and coming, um, still up and coming, forever up and coming. I went to the G a little bit optimistic, but not confident in the slightest. And then, yeah, we just slugged it out with the Hawks all day. And to be fair, they had a few players out, but we had this young side with like Billy Stretch, Christian Petrarca, Angus Brayshaw, just all these young players having a dip, having a crack. Sam Wiedemann was down forward because we didn't have Hogan and he was kicking goals. Two favorite parts from that game. One of them is when Billy Stretch steams through the Hawthorne defense and kicks a goal to either put us up or get us close. And then the other one that I like is when Dom Tyson throws it on the boot and the, oh we just go nuts like <laughs> gets a handball off Watts he hoiks it over his head and that's probably the happiest I've ever been as a D's fan I went absolutely crazy got to run through them got a kick Tyson bends it oh they're in raptures here Hawthorne's nine win streak in 2016 could almost be over the next game that was actually amazing to be at was um, Melbourne Cats, 2005. I'd gone to Simmons Stadium just for years and years on end just to see a loss, and it was just beyond frustrating. I, I don't like the stadium for a lot of reasons. One, because Geelong absolutely mop us every time I'm there. Two, the fans are one of a kind. <laughs> and three, because it's Geelong's ground, all the area is like seated for Geelong members, so you only get this little bit where you can sit, and it's usually up near the standing area or if you want to be in the cheer squad you're in like a pocket you're not behind the goals it's really weird the days in 2005 went down to geelong they pipped them they got the job done my favorite player russell robertson kicked seven or something for the game I just remember being really little and just seeing um robo and jeff white and all my heroes beat geelong down there it was um it was genuinely crazy here's the danger man robertson he's gone over rock completely russell robertson from the top shelf he can put the demons in front he has dominated in the air for the demons up forward and he's been the man to convert melbourne are in front he's going to go back he wants to kick a goal matthew Egan. Oh. Number 62 back a couple of years ago from 55. He loads up. It's going. It's going. It's all fine. Melbourne have won. Melbourne have won. A dramatic game of football. The next game that was amazing to be at, I've talked about before in the video in the eye button, but I went and watched the second greatest comeback from halftime ever. The Ds were 50 points down at halftime against Freo, and I said to Dad, I'm like, look, let's go. This is frustrating. I never leave early, but... This is just embarrassing. And Dad's like, no, we're staying. We stayed at the end. What's the point? We're getting absolutely hammered by the likes of Reese Palmer. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But he told us to stay and we did. And then in the third quarter, we got a, a bit of a run on and it was amazing to watch. Um, we reduced the margin to like 30 points at three quarter time. And I'm like, you know, it's not impossible, but at least we played some good footy. And then, I don't know what happened, but we just got this amazing run on. Robinson, I think he might have kicked five or six again in this game. Or maybe he did kick seven. Austin Wanamiri was amazing. 
Um, he, yeah, he absolutely dominated. It was incredible to be at. I think Wunderberry put us in front and then Davey kicked the sealer. It was crazy. Genuinely crazy. Green, not quite. Robbo, good kick again. He's got another one, I think. He's kicked three of the last four for the day. There's still a chance. 40 metres out. Has kicked a goal. Yes, for the goal of the front. The last game that I think is probably the best game I've ever been at was this year, um, Richmond Freo. I went to the game with Austin and his brother Corey, sat in the members all day and it was good, it was a good experience, good fun. And it was just one of these seesawing affairs, like Freo were just putting up the fight of their life against uh, probably Richmond, who I think were the favourites for the day. Towards the end I thought, geez, Freo have done it, they've actually pipped them. And then the Tigers got this run on in the last quarter and got in front and it was just crazy scenes, Brandon Ellis kicked what looked like the seal. Then all of a sudden it goes down the other end on the siren, David Mundy. And I don't think I've ever seen an after the siren goal before live. But it was just amazing because it's not one of our teams. So there's no, your heart's not really in it. You're a bit nervous, but you're not emotionally invested. So then Mundy goes back <laughs> and kicks the seal. And here's our reaction. The Dockers! The Dockers have won! The Dockers! The Dockers! That's the best games that I've ever seen live, guys. Comment down below some of the games that you've witnessed. Um, I'll probably do another one soon about the best moments I've ever seen. But yeah, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all your support, and I'll see you around soon. Cheers.